Despicable Three. Morning, everyone. Morning. Apologies for like the filter over the camera. It's so humid that there's like a bit of steam on the lens. Anyway, it is our first full day at Planet Hollywood in Cancun. We're so excited, aren't we? Just a little bit. That I've been up since 2:30 a.m. <laughs> You've been up since 4:30, and Jimmy got up at six. It is now 6:30 a.m., and the breakfast buffet opens at seven. So we thought we'd get up and get dressed and just have like a little walk around. Didn't and... want to be late for breakfast buffet, did we? <laughs> Well, no, we're just so excited to be here, so just having like a little look around the area while it's quiet. It's beautiful. We're making our way down like towards the beach area, so our hotel room is in like one of these blocks at the back, and I'll show you what's in front of me. Down here is the bridge to go to the beach, and because we're Derby folk, about two, uh, two and a half hours for us to see a beach, isn't it? So quite novel for us to walk down, see a beach in the morning, eh, hey, Jimmy? We're going over the bridge now. So they have the bridge because all of this is like protected habitat here. Yeah, the beach area is here. So there's surfs up there. What's that? Is that a bar? We won't go down to the beach yet just because we want to get sandy before breakfast. But what a view. What a sound of the waves crashing. Wave oh my gosh. Area, isn't it? I feel like Patrick Sway's in point break. What do you think, Jimmy? This is with us for two weeks. Unbelievable. We're heading back over the beach into the resort. So we've got the lunch buffet over there, which is right next to the family pool. They play the music quite early, don't they, Jim? We're saying if you're in one of these hotel rooms, I mean, we got down here around half six and- Oh, it never stops for me, though. <laughs> playing music all day long, they? they? have cabanas here that you can pay to hire for the day and you get like your own like little like pool area, like seating, like telly, and they'll like bring your food over there. Plenty of sun loungers. And it's nice to see there aren't too many where people have like chucked towels on. Cause we have heard they will like take towels off, haven't we? Yeah. So there's loads of sun loungers. There's also these like things in the pool as well, which look really cool. There are other cabanas here that are free, like anyone can use them, but I mean, they get taken really early. So bearing in mind, it's like 10 to seven and it looks like they're all taken up, aren't they? I think these day bed things here look better than the cabanas though. You know, we've got like the star and you can like have a lie down. Yeah, I think those cabanas are all well and good, but I don't see why there's such a rush on them, unless you're in a big group and there's a lot of you who want to like sit together, but it's all seats. There's no like, sun lounges or anything so i don't think that's something that will they are fully covered though aren't they mm, there's a couple yeah. free still at the uh, splash pool isn't there so. yeah there's also some of those free cabanas over at the kids splash park and they they were still empty so i think if you've got kids and you're wanting like one of those cabana things you maybe don't need to set as early an alarm clock if you've got young kids you're probably too exhausted to be down here at like 5 30 a.m putting your towels yeah, down aren't you? probably you were wanting to check out the splash park later weren't you yes yeah so we'll have a little nosy um, at that what i've seen though it is quite shallow yes yeah i think it's more little kids but mm. you can go and check out the slides yeah yeah of course of course also one interesting thing to note yeah i forgot to say earlier basically on the splash park um i think you'll know when it's open because you know how the splash box they always have that big bucket that fills it with water yes right now the water's off so the bucket's stationary ah so when the bucket starts moving then we can start grooving probably <laughs> we're heading down the middle now to go to the main building but me and jimmy have just spotted something there giant chess we love a game of chess don't we, oh, we might have a game after a brekkie shall we we will do another video that's like a full resort tour with everything that we've learned over the two weeks. This is us just nosing around this morning. So if anyone is interested in coming to this resort, keep an eye out for that video and we'll put all the tips for the two weeks. Eh? It's 6.53 now and this is the buffet here called SoCal where the breakfasts are. We're just going to sit and wait 10 minutes, aren't we? So we can be the eager beavers. In What's that? Rope drop it. Rope drop it. Rope drop the buffet. <laughs> Just for getting our bearings. That's the main lobby where we did the check-in and we did walk past here last night, didn't we? It's a bit of a blur. Isn't it, it is a bit of a blur. It's going to take a bit of time, I think, to get used to everything. This is absolutely gorgeous in here. Like the whole theme in. They've got all pictures up with people from films. Looks good, doesn't it, Jim? Ah, oh, you're excited. We've got some, is that, is that Rolling Stones? Yes. That's so cool. The light fittings have been different through the rooms as well. So the first room, it was more tassely. That second room's crowns. And then this room, it's more like camera lights. It's so cool, honestly. I just don't think a camera does it justice. You know, like with the theming, like everywhere you look, there's stuff going on. The lads have gone to go and get their breakfasts first. So I normally like to send Jim in for a recce just to sort of see what's around. And then he can direct me the places to go when I get in there. I'm excited to see what they come back with. Jimmy's come back first, he's got two plates. What's that? Waffles, 
sausage, hash browns and bacon, <laughs> mate. And then over there's your breakfast pudding. What's the buffet look like in there? Amazing, heaven, literally. There's so many options. I could have had like a billion different things. Really? So do you think we'll be coming for breakfast a lot? We're not normally breakfast people, are we? But if it's good... This is definitely going to be worth it. Yeah? So I've come in to have a look. We've got lots of fruit and yogurts over here. This is an absolutely massive buffet. In the middle here, there's more fruit and yogurt. There's all your classic, like, cooked breakfast stuff over here. We've got potatoes as well. Oh, wow. We've even got mushrooms and tomatoes. They look really, really good. There's a couple of live stations here where the chefs will cook stuff for you. So there's one going on over there. And then there's one over here as well for omelettes. So I think I might get an omelette. So these are all the different toppings here. I've gone for mushrooms, bacon and tomatoes. And then this lovely lady here, you can see these are my toppings like cooking just there. And then she cooks the omelette there. She's adding in some like cheese and pepper. Looks like it's gonna be good. These are all the breads and pastries here. So I'm guessing that's where Jimmy got his donut from. You weren't joking when you said it was a big buffet. Oh my gosh. I think I saw two omelette stands and there was a crepe stand as well. I didn't manage to film that. That. so much choice so the way the lady did the omelette is she like made the omelette she cooked like the topping separately and then they get like wrapped in the egg so it's like a egg burrito I suppose but the flavor it's like piping hot it's so good Jim's back with his food is that like a grilled cheese well, I'm busting for Jim to try some of mine because it is so amazing I'll have an omelette when isn't that nice oh my gosh so it's got bacon mushrooms tomatoes cheese pepper and it's like egg wraps so it's not like it's all mixed in it's like the eggs wrapped around the i can't believe how nice that is it is half seven in the morning now that breakfast was delightful really wasn't nice. it, it yeah, was so good. nice <laughs> jimmy's asked if me and him can have a game of chess before we head down to the pool so it's actually not a bad temperature i think for chess isn't it, it feels like it's going to be a hot hot day quick little 10 20 minute game i've never played life-size chess before but it's actually really hard isn't it you know to like work out what you're gonna move next go for that one Are you sure it's about eight o'clock now and we've just nipped back up to the room after breakfast and chess and got changed and creamed up ready for the pool i can't believe how hot it is already it's scorching i think i'm gonna yeah. have to reapply my lotion when i'm at beach volleyball at 11 a.m <laughs> we're letting jimmy pick the activities for today and you want to do the lazy river as soon as it opens don't you it doesn't look like the lazy river's ready for us yet it's a bit too lazy at the moment isn't it this is one thing that jimmy's really excited for just here they've got a swim up bar within the lazy river aren't they I like how she says you're excited for it, Jimmy, like she <laughs> I am, yeah. This is the swim-up bar in the Lazy River Blue Lagoon. Get a uh, little mocktail sat at the bar. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you about to correct me and say you were going to get a cocktail? I got mixed up. <laughs> I don't worry, I'll get a mixed up later. <laughs> Jimmy's going in the pool while me and Jim go and find the sun lounger. <laughs> is it cold? I could get used to this. We were looking around this main pool here, but then I've spotted this other pool. So just behind it, there's this smaller pool. It's sort of like kidney shaped, isn't it? And there's a stage there. But what I have noticed is there's an entrance to the Lazy River over there, and there's also the slide just over there. So I'm thinking this will probably be a good area. And there's the also, rooms. yeah, restrooms are just there. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be quite good just for the things that Jimmy's going to be accessing, isn't it? It's 9:37 now, and the lads have been through the lazy river a couple of times and played in the pool they're just queuing to go down the slide now so that's jimmy at the top here he comes Woo! oh my gosh you come off it so rapid jimmy is it good <laughs> jim asked if he can go on the slide as well but he's been told it's kids only which is good for jimmy because it means there will be a smaller queue if there's no adults getting on it you got it yeah he said oh nino's only here he comes again Oh, it's a proper impact, isn't it? May! Was the Lazy River pool bar open yet? I didn't see anyone sat in there. There was a man behind it. There's no one in there drinking. Whether or not it's open, I'm assuming not. I'm assuming not. At like half nine. Until like 10 o'clock or something like that. But I guess it was like setting up. But it looks uh, really cool. Didn't it? Does it? Yeah. A nice Lazy River as well. Nice and gentle, but it's dead long. It takes a good way off to get around it. Yeah. Single and double floaties. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. Jimmy's wanting us to suss out the shop that's sort of just over there. They're selling like floaties and pool stuff there. Seen lots of kids with floaties. We didn't bring any out because we've been stung before at hotels where you're not allowed them, haven't we? So, and I think I'd rather get one from here because then at least you'd, you'd hope that it'd be accepted. Although to be fair, I had read in advance that you can bring your own and they'll fill yeah. it with, fill it with it. 
there here. Uh, we'll, we'll let Jimmy pick one here, eh? That much do you reckon? Dread to think, I dread to think what he'll pick. We've been to the shop, it was open when we nipped around and I <laughs> guess the price of the floaty. The shop's shutting early today, we've done the sales target. <laughs> it was $60 for that, so definitely bring your own if you can. Bonus though is they pump it up for you, they've got like a machine they plug it into. You happy with it mate? Yeah, we tested it. Go on then. It was definitely the biggest one there, they had like burger ones and donuts and all sorts, but he really wanted one that he could lie down on. So you can like talk to Jim while he's in the pool, like chilling on a lilo. Is it comfy, Jimmy? Yeah, it really is. Yeah? You happy with it? Definitely use it. We've seen lots of people throwing balls and catching, and this was $14, which I don't think is too bad. And they've said that these are allowed in the pool as well, so that'll be quite good. Play a game of catch in the pool later. They did have smaller floaties in there, so there's like a crocodile one, similar to the one that we got in Greece, that was $42. But so if that's one that he really wants, for the sake of $18, we're here for two weeks. I'd also rather get it on the first day, so at least he's going to get proper two weeks worth use out of it, rather than get one halfway through and then not get sort of getting your money's worth. Jim's just been to the bar to get around in, haven't you? <laughs> He's got a couple of Caribbean calls, no idea what they are. And what's that one called? Tropical smoothie. Tropical smoothie, which one are you going to try first? Well, I've tried a bit of all three on the way back. So you have them? That one was swilling around like bath water. Was it? I quite like this uh, mm. Caribbean cool. This Caribbean cool is nice. It is really tropical-y, isn't it? Pineapple and I think grapefruit's in there as well. Yeah, it's it nice. The lads have been suckered into volleyball as the activity. Jim's actually been doing really well with the volleyball. He has like caused a few wins, which has surprised me. He might have found his new calling. The volleyball player. <laughs> what do you reckon? Water volleyball. Water volleyball. You did really well. I was honestly so impressed that you joined in. <laughs> what about a participatory award here? But <laughs> no, but you did, you did get some good hits, didn't you? Yeah. When I've looked back on the footage of Jim in the pool doing the volleyball, I just wanted to clarify one thing, and I'm going to put this clip up here. But that on his neck is not a love bite. <laughs> Even his own mum thought it was a love bite, and it's a birthmark he's had since birth. It only took us 17 years, God bless him. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I didn't want anyone looking at like any sort of footage and thinking that. Um, We'll put it this way, it's not a love bite that you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it is 12.30 now and Jim went up to order us some burgers. So they've got this guy's burger place. Literally all they do is burger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. And how far in advance did we have to order? Like 20 minutes? He said, yeah, come back 20 minutes, give you a ticket with your order and your room number. Yeah. Go back and pick it up. Yeah, so that's just about ready now. All three of us are going up here for a bit of lunch. After the burger I had at room service last night, I'm really looking forward to this. And this is where we're at. Guy's burger joint. Jim's just gone in to see if he can collect the order. Wow, we. They look good. Even the fries look good. This is Jimmy's one with bacon. Looks good, doesn't it, mate? I might take out like the tomato. And the table rat's already got like a load of sauces in the middle. Ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Enjoy. Well, that burger was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite. It was really nice, but I'm not sure what I prefer out of the uh, room servicing guys. I think the room servicing the guys are probably exactly the same burger, but obviously it comes out hotter. But the fries have a totally different seasoning on and are lovely. The fries are definitely much better. We've decided we've been outside in the sun for quite some time so we are going to go in put our stuff back in the room and then just explore a little bit more of the resort aren't we? Yeah sounds good maybe get an ice cream or a oh. cake. I'm, I'm going to personally uh, nip to fuel to get here, <laughs> We're going up over a bridge over the lazy river to get back we've got all of our bits and bobs you've got a little view over there of a flow rider so that's like the things that you get on Royal Caribbean so you can like imitate surfing it's really cool. The wind's really picked up and I'm worried we're about to see $60 blow away with the wind. What do you reckon? $60 down the drain. Whoa! <laughs> I thought I'd just show you this view now that it's daytime and look at the colour of the sea. That is gorgeous, isn't it? And also this balcony is going to be the perfect people watching spot at about two in the morning when everyone's rolling back to their rooms. Brilliant. Every time we leave the room, Jim always says, Jim, have you got your room key? And Jimmy's always like really flustered, but his room key's like literally like just his wristband. <laughs> magic band. Yeah, it's a bit like the Disney magic band, you know, and charging stuff to your room as well. It's 
really nice. Disney price is sixty dollars for a float. <laughs> yeah. We've just made our way out of building twenty six, heading towards fuel. I've just noticed this here. So this is Planet Play, where they've got trampolines. This is their arcade games. You can get day passes. So that's what we've got in our arsenal for when there's a rainy day, Jimmy. Our room is like right next to building twenty six, and they're interjoined. So we go down the lifts through twenty six, past that Planet Play, turn left, and then this is the buffet we were at this morning for breakfast. And then just down here is fuel. The queue for this was really long in the morning, so I think that's where you get the good coffee. But we don't like coffee. Hoping it's going to be a bit quieter now. One person's just strolled in in front of us, but yeah, it's much quieter, isn't it? They do all sorts of like ice creams in here. So they've got strawberry ice cream, raspberry, there's mango, eggnog, gelato, coconut, all sorts. In here, they also do cakes. They've got some lovely looking like little fruit tart things as well. I think we could do something to cool us down a bit, couldn't we? This is your drinks menu. So you've got all your juices, coffees, teas and they've got the menu in English and in Spanish and then even in here they've still got the film theme going. I really like this here. Everything in fuel is included in your all-inclusive. The only thing which is the same everywhere here is it's all tips. Jimmy wasn't too keen on the raspberry gelato that the three of us had so you went back and got yourself a strawberry ice cream instead aren't you? As per you've ended up finishing off what uh, Jimmy's not had. <laughs> it's nice gelato though, weren't it? We liked it. Yeah, Jimmy weren't keen. I'd, probably because it wasn't like a strong, strong flavour, but it was refreshing. I liked it. Our plan now we've finished up our little snackaroo is we're going to go and check out the cinema. So they do have showings, is it like two, four and seven, something like that. And what we've seen online is they have like a planner for the week, don't they, of what films are on. We just think it's probably going to be wise just to go out of the sun for a little bit now because we could all feel we've had the heat on us and we don't want to get burnt on the first day and then we're like out the sun for a couple of days so trying to be sun safe we saw an advert there do you see it there jim retro show tonight at 9 p.m they've got like a little like pat man in the hollywood sign in some like peace things so we're going down the right hand side of the lobby we haven't been down this side of the hotel yet so the cinema is opposite the east tapanyaki and sushi bar and just on first glance it looks really cool look at all the lights jimmy's got titanic seen it and infinite look. War. it's got like two of jimmy's favorites the other one around here jimmy's jurassic world how cool is that it's all open and empty at the moment but i don't know what the deal is there's some like really posh chairs at the front and then there's like some standard ones here so we're wondering do you reckon they'll be for star class or can anyone book them i think anyone can well if you don't spot you just turn up jim seen online as well apparently just before a film starts they'll fill the back up here with like sodas and popcorn and stuff which is really cool so next to the cinema they've got the show guide here ah uh, so it wasn't two it's four it's four o'clock seven o'clock nine o'clock okay, so it's saturday so we've got encanto back to the future or no way home Home. Tomorrow's Ant-Man and the Wasp Black Widow, Venom. We're gonna have to come back and check that on Monday to see if it's like the same rolling rotor for next week because Jimmy's seen Sing 2's on and he really wants me to watch that because the baddie's called Jimmy, isn't he? What's the other film that's on there we want to see? Uncharted, that's got Tom Holland in, so we'd quite like to see that as well, wouldn't we? We've noticed the sports bar open and there's quite a few people in there, so as soon as we're down this end, we're just gonna nip in and have a little drink, aren't we? scope it out see what it's about we thought it was just going to be drinks in here but they've brought over a menu this looks really cool on the appetizers tomato and cheese so it's tomato cream soup and a grilled cheese sandwich so i do think i'd like to come here at some point for that we've just ordered two portions of chicken wings haven't we with mango jalapeno sauce it's been an hour since we've had a burger. Uh, but i felt bad i didn't realize they were doing like food in here as well and she brought over the menu and i felt bad they've got all sorts of things in here on the walls like from films but this is one that means quite a lot to Jim. They've got the Sports Almanac from Back to the Future 2, which is so cool. And then they've got outfits from High School Musical 3. They've got the Hurricane over there. Just across the other side of the room, they've got a Mighty Duck shirt. It's a really nice setting in here, isn't it? Said it would have been good if there was like a footy match or something on, you know. They've also got a pool table down here. So Jim said he's going to teach Jimmy how to play pool proper. The reason this conversation has already come up is because Jimmy got well into this snooker, didn't he? What, what competition was it like the world world championship. world championship and you two were like a few nights in the on the trot weren't you like up watching it the first game of snooker ever watched semi final was absolutely out of this world judge from the mark world and try to do it incredible uh, how many years we see like five years 
you, you really liked the snooker, didn't you? So you've got a bit of interest in it now. So when Dad offered to teach you how to play pool, that's one of the first things you want to do out here. Snooker's the new rock and roll gym. These are our couple of portions of wings. Quite cute little pots, aren't they? They're not huge, just for scale. And then they've brought out some ranch dressing as well. They're spicy, but sweet as well. The mango jalapeno. We're just leaving here now, but I thought I'd just pan around and show you some more of the memorabilia that they've got in here. It's really, really cool. That was such like a happy little accident, wasn't it? That we went in there and um, they were doing like the food and like serve some wings. We literally just went in to have like one drink, didn't we? And yeah, it was great. So that is somewhere that's definitely on our list to go to for lunch now, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some lovely little knickknacks in it as well. So. Yeah, really interesting. I really quite liked like, the feeling in there though, because it was just really like relaxing and calm. It weren't like dead hectic and busy. Lots of different like sports on the TVs, but it was like the sort of sports that you don't see in the UK. And the lady looked after us was fantastic. Yeah. Dead out, but... One thing me and Jim have both said that we've noticed as we've walked around is just how many places there are to sit down. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, and there's no like shortage of seats in terms of it's not, it doesn't feel crowded or busy anywhere like even around the pool I wouldn't say it felt hectic maybe because it was the time of day that we were there and it's probably going to get a lot busier later on it's just got a really nice feel to it hasn't it we are back in the room and the room's all been cleaned up which is lovely the plan for now is ordering an ironing board isn't it so on the your planet section there's somewhere on here where you can order a bit of all sorts you just just do everything through the tv don't you it's even got like all your activities and everything on here we wanted another bathrobe for jimmy didn't we because yeah. we've got only got two in the room oh and iron an ironing table here you can see here everything is like zero us dollars so it doesn't cost you anything i suppose it saves them kitting it out in every single room doesn't it yep. we've got our order done there so we've got the bathroom for jimmy four more hangers and an iron and ironing table it is half past two now but like i said earlier we don't want to sort of go all guns are blazing in the sun and then end up with like sunstroke and wiping out a few days so me and jimmy have got two more episodes of stranger things so we are going to finish that and jim's going to chill with his ironing table and his iron maybe a beer on the balcony am i right jim were very right very right yeah thought so and then the plan is we're going to get an early dinner tonight on the telly i'll show you it in a sec but it tells you like all of the times for everything i won't show you every little thing on here but if i show you like on this your planet and go into the restaurants open today you can see it just in this little section here so at the bottom there for dinner we're going to go for the sutra indian one aren't we that's open 5.30 till 10. Looks like most of them are open at 5.30. There's a couple of six o'clocks and then the sports bar where we were earlier at 11 till 2 a.m. So they have a long old shift in there, bless them. The telly has really impressed us, hasn't it, on this holiday. Like it's so responsive, like on the flicker, dead easy to like order stuff. And I suppose it saves that I'm really awkward on the phone and I'm like drive throughs and things like that, aren't I? Because I can like trip over my words a little bit. So doing it all through the tellies perfect anyway we'll put the camera down and then we'll catch up with you in a little while when hopefully we're making our way down to the indian good evening everyone it is now half five we've really enjoyed just having a couple of hours chill haven't we yeah it's been nice in the room we're making our way down to the indian restaurant now which opens at half five so hopefully we should be seated like pretty quickly it looks like the indian isn't open today there was a sign up saying tomorrow so this is just a couple of doors down the sunset strip steakhouse not quite what we had planned fancy it i think we've mentioned this before but the star class guests they can reserve their tables here whereas as ordinary folk can't which is why you end up with the queues ordinary folk. ordinary folk which is why you end up queuing to get in so we're here for opening so hopefully it won't be too long this sunset grill is one of the most popular places here like from what we've seen online it looks like this is one where like you really do need to like get here and be queuing all prepared to wait oh, quite a long wait, time yeah, look at yeah. we were seated straight away and i've got some absolutely loving the atmosphere in here you know the music it's like that old school you know like how frankie and benny's used to be where they played like the old music really really cool so as i pan around to the left it looks like that's the kitchen over there where it says the broiler and you can see here an example of like the booths that we're sat in aren't these booths absolutely massive bear in mind it is a table just sort of fit for four people i was looking at it thinking oh god that's one for six but it's not i mean they could have really crammed you in here couldn't they you know made a lot more tables but this just feels fantastic here is the menu so you've got quite a lot of options here so for the appetizers 
I think I'll probably go for Caesar salad. And then for mains, they've got quite a lot of options that are just included in your all-inclusive. So that's all of these ones here. And they have got the option for vegetarians, even though it's the steak cows, they have got a cauliflower steak. And then they've got the sides and sauces just here, only peppercorn and this one here. There are a few options here which are an upcharge. And we have seen people say that you have to like sign for it before they'll serve it to you. So you can ask for a lobster or these other steaks here if you wanted. Jimmy's told me to let you know that the kids menu is like from the Flintstones. It's like a big tablet. Yeah. You're all right about that, Jimmy. So these are the options that you got for the kids. It looks like it looks like this may even be a generic kids menu across all the restaurants because it's not exactly like specialised, is it? The boys ordering off the main menu. Oh, yeah, you ordered off the adults menu. What are you having? Uh, While we're waiting for the starters, they brought out some bread, and I'm sure he said there were onion rolls and bread rolls. I'm sure he said that it was like a pepper butter. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Me and Jimmy weren't mad on the bread, were we? I think for me it's the butter. I can't put my finger on the flavour. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't my fave, bread and butter. It, was, it weren't terrible, but it just weren't my fave. So the starters come out. This is the Caesar salad, and it's like a work of art. It's really pretty. I like the plates as well. So I've just gone for some onion rings with a salsa. I would have had the sliders, but I've had a burger for lunch and eaten <laughs> Jimmy didn't fancy a starter, did you? Oh yeah, I suppose you're ordering off the adults menu, aren't you? So, good choice. Our mains have now come out. So I've got a New York strip with some vegetables. I'm not massively hungry, which is why I've not gone for any like potato stuff with it. Petite filet mignon with a jacket potato. I got the um, Southern Comfort And then we've got a little bit of peppercorn sauce in the middle as well, haven't we? Like a peppercorn jus, innit? Finished with my dinner, I found the veggies were really, really hard, like very al dente or whatever the word is for it. The steak was okay. I described it very much as like a good steak in England, but a bad steak for America. Obviously, I know we're in Mexico, so we're in neither of those locations. So we're fine. The loaded baked potato would have been really nice if it was hot, but it's yeah. quite cold. So then I was feeling a bit down after and thinking that the steak would be great, but the steak was fantastic. Really? See, I think my favourite meal so far has been the breakfast. That like egg, it was meant to be an omelette, but I'll call it like an egg burrito. That was gorgeous. Our server's just come over asking if we wanted dessert. And with the amount of food we've eaten today, <laughs> so why not? Why not pile some more in us? Oh my gosh, I won't be able to move tonight. The choices were creme brulee, strawberry cheesecake or ice cream. So you and I have gone for cheesecake, haven't we? Looking forward to that. You've gone for creme brulee. We have seen pictures of the creme brulee here before and it does look incredible, doesn't it? I've seen a video of it cracking under the pressure and the smooth. Yeah. And I am here for that. Have you ever had creme brulee before, Jimmy? Do you want, Do you want to try a bit of dance? I'm just a. <laughs> you want to give your own away, I'd order creme brulee. <laughs> Big man done share. It came out so quick that Jim's ready for. Well, it's quite a big portion, isn't it? Something satisfied about that. It'll need to be because I'm sharing mine. Nice. Okay. How's the cheesecake? It's actually really good. It's like quite a. Quite a taste of it. This is the strawberry cheesecake that me and Jimmy had. Jimmy said there's a bit of an odd taste, and I'd say I know what he means actually by that. It's, it's a bit like really buttery. It's a flavour I can't put my finger on if I'm honest. I'm gonna get Jim to try it just to see if he knows what I'm on about. The strongest flavour I'm getting. Yeah. Is Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I could eat that, yeah, if you need I don't know. A bit of old polish in I'm getting a bit, you know, like Palma Violets, how it doesn't taste like real food. I'm getting like that sort of aura from it. It's a bit windy. <laughs> that dinner was nice, weren't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it was good. It was, it was, it was good. good. There were some bits that were better than others, and I'm quite glad that we're here for two weeks so that we can like try out some of the other dishes that are on there, and it's not just like that's our one chance to go. Yeah, but it's amazing that we have two weeks so we can just do so much. Yeah. And have so much fun. 
and it's like I'm not like and I'm like the Florida and in like seven days I'm not stressing that day is over I'm like I'm not like oh god like oh, we've only got this many more days you know what I mean and I'm just a bit more calm and it's and you can just take it a bit more chill I just love that speaking of a bit more chill <laughs> we're gonna go back to the rooms we've got one more episode of Stranger Things and it ended on a cliffhanger and Jimmy's absolutely busting to watch it the evening entertainment tonight it says like retro show or something but that sounds right up our street doesn't it my god <laughs> we like a bit of retro that starts at like nine half nine so we've got like two hours till it's half eight so we're thinking well that's plenty of time just to go back to the room for a little bit you'll probably enjoy being out on the balcony again won't you so what we'll do is we'll catch up with you a little bit later on when it's uh, the night time it'll be the show won't it yeah. and just like that it was dark <laughs> i promise i'll never let him do that again <laughs> hi everyone it is now half past eight at night it's dark outside show starts in an hour we've decided we're not going to go watch it now while me and Jimmy were watching Stranger Things, Jim was like nicely snoring in the background and it's I think it's made me sleepy just hear, like hearing the dulcet tones of Jim's <laughs> <laughs> He's woke up now, but we've all agreed absolutely shattered. I've been up since half two, you've been up since six. So to make it to half eight, I think we've done pretty well. So we're going to end it here. We've decided we're not going to be vlogging every single day of this trip because it's going to be pretty samey with us going down to the pool. So I think what we'll be doing is like vlogging every other day. See you later. Bye. Bye. So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye.